Hey RJ, it's Jim. Uh, I was down there yesterday uh, to see if you had a nozzle for my heater and uh, uh, fuel uh, filter assembly. Uh, I didn't hear back from you. I was able to get the nozzle and uh, the fuel filter assembly from uh, Albany Burner down South Street uh, in Rensselaer. I got everything back going. Uh, I changed the fuel lines, I changed those clip clamps, and I put on the screw type. Uh, new fuel filter assembly, tightened all the lines up. I cleaned the uh, eye with uh, uh, rubbing alcohol. I did all the basic maintenance things, including uh, the filter, air filters. Uh, I actually put the old ones back in because, they, like you said, they look, look just too good. Uh, it's firing up uh, three or four times now. I've had it fired up and it, uh, it's starting right up. It's going good. It's not kicking out. It's not blowing smoke. Uh, my only concern... Well, that was just snow sliding off the roof. My only concern now is... Um, and I'll show you in a minute because I'm going to... Uh, fire it up for you just so you can see what's going on is when it's going uh, there are flames coming out about they vary between two and a half three three and a half inches out the front this pump pressure gauge I'll show you it shows nothing like the one in the book It's got the numbers on the outside, which is PSA, and uh, the inside is uh, BAR. Is that barometric pressure? Uh, anyway, when I fire it up, I'll show you again. It, uh, I think it was settling in about 4, 4.5. As I turn it up high, I can't seem to get it up past that 4.5 for some reason. How many times I... Uh, turn it to the right and I did notice once yesterday once I got it fired up uh, that it was smoking but that could have been the the lines too sucking air from somewhere uh, if I turn it down it seems like the flame gets real low with the power you can hear it but uh, the flames are still shooting out the front end that's the only issue at this point other than that it seems to be doing good I'll show you uh, see if I can flip this around. Nope. All right, we'll do it this way. Make sure you can see it here. Gonna give it a second, let it get real cherry red. I'll give you a side view again. And we'll go to the front. Not for too long though. Or right on the other side. I'll go back over and shut it off, watch the back end, make sure it doesn't smoke. That's about it. Like I say, it's 
it's running. Uh, it's just I can't figure out that pump pressure and get it at that 5.5 without it seeming... Well, I can't get it above the, the 4.5. That's where it's hanging. I think it said plus or minus 10%. <laughs> uh, and if I do lower it, turn the screw to the left uh, counterclockwise, it just seems like it's losing the power and thrust, but yet the flames still shoot out the front end. So if you have any ideas on that, uh, you get a chance to watch this, uh, let me know your thoughts. Other than that, uh, I got some other parts for you uh, that I got those other nozzles, those PP210s and 235s, I think they were. A few other things that just don't go for this heater, so they're brand new. You can have them. Uh, but I'll get this posted and let you take a look at it and give me your thoughts. Thanks. Bye-bye. And if you want to get hold of me, I think you still have my number, 729-0237. Take care, RJ. Have a good afternoon. Bye.